Hi, my name is Ceren. My physics project is about experimenting the relation between the capacitance and the insertion of the electric materials. First, I will insert styrofoam as a dielectric material between capacitor plays horizontally, but only to one half of the capacitor and the co total capacitance will be measured. Theoretically, when the electric material is inserted into half of the capacitor horizontally, it behaves as there are two capacitors, one with the electric material and one without the electric material that have half the area of the place connected in parallel. In this experiment, the reliability of this theory will be observed by comparing the value of the capacitance to the total capacitance of the two capacitors that have half the plate area, but one with the electric material and not connected in parallel. After that, I will insert styrofoam as the electric material vertically, but again only to one half of the capacitor. Theoretically, when uh, the electric material is inserted into the half of the capacitor vertically, it behaves as there are two capacitors, one with the electric material and one without the electric material, that is half the distance uh, between plates connected in series. In this experiment, I will also observe whether this theory is true or not. Finally, I will insert the electric material fully to observe the relationship between the insertion of uh, the electric material and capacitance. I will conduct this experiment two times, one with styrofoam as the electric material and one with silicon rubber as the electric material. The equipment I will use in this experiment is a capacitor with area 49 cm square, a capacitor with area 98 cm square, a multimeter to measure capacitance, a styrofoam to keep place parallel, and the ruler to measure the distance. First, I insert the place parallelly and measure the capacitance value with the multimeter when the distance between the plates are 2 cm. The capacitance value is 3.538 picofarads. After that, I insert the electric material styrofoam vertically halfway to the capacitor, which is 1 cm, and measure the capacitance value. I measure the capacitors that has half the distance between plates, which is 1 cm, with the electric material and without the electric material to determine whether they behave as they are connected in series. Then I insert styrofoam to the capacitors one half horizontally and measure the capacitance. The result is 4.26 picofarads. After that, I measure the capacitors that have half the area but the same distance which is 2 cm with the electric material and without the electric material to determine whether they behave as they are connected in parallel or not. Finally, I insert styrofoam fully to the capacitor with area plates 19 cm squared and distance between plates 2 cm and measure the capacitance value. The result is 4.206 picofarads. I conduct the same experiment again with the electric material silicon rubber. I first insert the electric to one half of the capacitor vertically. After that, I measure the capacitor that has half the distance between plates, which is one centimeter, with the electric material to determine whether they behave as they are connected in series. Then I insert rubber to the capacitors one half horizontally and measure the capacitance value. After that, I measure the capacitors that have half the area about the same distance, which is 2 cm, with the electric material and without the electric material to observe whether they behave as they are connected in parallel or not. The results I have obtained after measuring the capacitance values have error rate approximately 15%. When I measured the capacitance value when the electric material styrofoam with the electric constant 1.11 is inserted to one half of the capacitor, I have found the value 3.664 picofarads. After that, I have measured the capacitance of the two half distance capacitors. The capacitance values were 8.231 and 7.719 picofarads. When computed them as they were connected in series, I found the result 3.664 picofarads. Hence, there is 20.6% error rate. 
Then I measured the capacitance value when the electric material silicon rubber with the electric constant 3.159 is inserted to one half of the capacitor. After that, I have measured the capacitance of two half distance capacitors. The capacitance values were 23.50 and 7.660 picofarads. When computed them as they were connected in series, I have found the result 6.032 picofarads, hence there is 13.75% error rate. When the errors are neglected, we can say that when the electric material is inserted to the half of two capacitors vertically, it behaves as there are two capacitors, one with the electric material and one without the electric material that has half distance between plates connected in series. So the reliability of this theory is proven with this experiment. When I measured the capacitance value when the electric material styrofoam with the electric constant 1.11 is inserted to one half of the capacitor horizontally, I found the value 3.0. 934 picofarads. After that, I have measured the capacitance of the two half area capacitors. The capacitance values were 1.886 and 1.998 picofarads. When computed them as they were connected in parallel, I found the result 3.884 picofarads. Hence, there is 1.27% error rate, which is quite accurate. Then I measured the capacitance value when the electric material silicon rubber with the electric constant 3.189 is inserted to one half of the capacitor. After that, I have measured the capacitance of the two half area capacitors. The capacitance values were 8.205 and 7.660 picofarads. When computed them as they were connected parallelly, I have found the result 8.205. 694 picofarads. Hence, there is 8% error rate. So, when the errors are neglected, uh, the results suit what the theory explains. Hence, the reliability of this theory is proven with this experiment. When calculating the capacitance values, I had to change the distance between plates, plate areas, and I had to insert different dielectric materials. When the values are observed, although there are errors, when the errors are neglected, it can also be seen that the area of the plate and the electric material's constant is proportional to the capacitance value, and the distance between plates is inversely proportional to the capacitance value. In this experiment, the errors can be due to the measurement errors occurred by the ruler or the, or the multimeter. It can be also due to the room temperature, more importantly, it can be due to not being able to insert things the electric materials fully accurately or due to the electric constants not corresponding to the electric materials constants I have used in my experiment. Also, it can be due to not being able to build the capacitors fully accurate or not being able to fix the capacitors parallelly. To make the experiment more accurately and to decrease the error rate, we can use more accurate measurement tools, adjust the room temperature, adjust the dielectric materials or fix the place of the capacitors.